no problem with his motivation, that's for sure. But as Barry was saying, the big thing is how much will the lack of quality of opponent in the last three years, the inactivity, and perhaps the hindrance of movement in the shoulder, how much will that hurt him? Well, yeah, I mean, it's going to play um, a big part in it. We'll have to see. I mean, we've listened to his trainer say that he can't get focused for any other fight. He wants this fight, and there's no doubt about it. The last fight um, he had with this guy, he, he was winning it. So, and, and that's a big factor as well. Um, I'm confident for him. I think Barry it on the edge has got to start positively. And um, I think he can do it, I really can. Psychologically, he'll have that little uh, psychological boost over uh, Rocky Gianni that he was winning that fight. And um, I believe he can do it. A shy, rather self-conscious man, Carl Thompson. has lived his life as much as he can out of the limelight. If he should win tonight, he's going to find that mighty difficult. So Thompson, the, the one, challenger. Sorry, the one thing uh, that's in his favour as well, he's good away from home. I mean, he won the European title in Italy. He defended it in France, you know, so he, he's not frightened to travel. And he performs away, so he won't be intimidated by the people in here. And um, I think he can put in a good performance tonight. And now, the anthem for Ralph Roccagiani. ACDC, Hell's Bells, they love ACDC here. And they love Ralph Roccagiani. Looking very positive. A real warrior. It'll be interesting to see how he starts this. He was uh, blasted out in the first few rounds against Thompson in the first fight. And he looked uh, almost like he accepted it, as if he knew something was going to happen later. But the longer the fight went on, you thought it's not going to happen until the disaster with the shoulder injury. He's got to be more positive as Roccagiani in this fight. Otherwise, Thompson's going to win it. Here are the anthems again. Thompson's motivation. And won the super middle title back in 1988. Ralph had to wait until a couple of years ago when he was 32 years old. He must have been sick of waiting. Yeah, he certainly, success certainly came late for him in his career, but he certainly took advantage of it. He's defended it six times since the first Thompson fight. And uh, they've certainly been hand-picked hand opponents, I think, but nevertheless, he still, he still had to beat them, and he's done the job. I think the question mark is all about Thompson, is that we know how Roccagiani is going to fight. He's going to be roughly the same as he was before. Two years ago, Thompson was too good for him, to be honest. He lost the fight, but he was too good for him. How much of that is left in Thompson now? Well, that's right. Only three fights since, since the first meeting, and that's not good preparation. Um, I hope he's... Well, I'm sure he'll, he'll have done his training and his sparring, but at the same time, you can't substitute actual fighting. Uh, in a boxing match um, but as you say we'll have to see how good he is Thompson though uh, he turned pro at 24 which is pretty late anyway and I think still ha has a lot to offer the game. It's just how how that shoulder has um, has healed. 
Josie Bonenschied und Josie Mida. Am 10. Juli 1995 wurde er Weltmeister. Comes from an Italian father. Und heute verteidigt er zum siebten Mal diesen WM-Gürtel. The father, in fact, was a national amateur champion, went to Germany to find work. And the sons have become German heroes. Am I right in saying, Simon, that uh, was it Glenn McCraw? Glenn McCraw is the only British cruiserweight champ. Correct. Max Parker Jr. of Florida. That's Glenn, who was over in Atlantic City following the fortunes of Lennox Lewis, and good luck to him later on tonight. So, same as before. WBO title at stake, so the three count rule will be in effect. Mandatory eight count. Three judges. The referee will not score. And vital that Thompson gets off to a racing start here. Oh, definitely. And um, I think he's got, we all know he's got the beating of Rocky Gianni. It's just can he find that form? That's the big question. But he looks in good nick, he looks in good condition, and his trainer has assured us that he's really trained hard, and he's in, he's in great condition. I wish you both luck, touch gloves, come out. Marco Gianni staring deep into Thompson's eyes, as if he's asking that very question. How much of you is left from where we met before? It's good to see Ensley Bingham in uh, Carl Thompson's corner. Yeah. Big friends, uh, and uh, we give him a lot of confidence. And the previous fight, Thompson won the first six rounds straight off. Got decked in the fifth, but they came back and decked Rocagiani. They're both having a long, hard look at each other at the start of this round. And looking at the physiques, Thompson looks in great shape. He looks a, a lot better shape than Rocagiani. We all know looks can be just deceiving. Yes, it's not a bodybuilding contest. But if it was, Thompson would have won hands down. There's a better jab from Carl Thompson, nice and crisp. The general feeling here is that the longer this goes on, the better chance Roccagiani has got. If it's going to go to points, no one expects him to be beaten on points. That's because it, it is here in Germany. And if, well, perhaps Thompson isn't going to be as on top as he was before. We shall see. Well, it does say a lot for the, for the Germans uh, when you're fighting on in Germany, especially our lads. I remember Aki Wandy fighting Schultz. The first time of it when they give a draw, it was unbelievable. Thompson beginning to find his range now, both with the left and the right. That's a nice jab from Thompson. That's what he wants to do, keep busy. Lucky John, he's very slow on his feet, he's there to be hit. And he's not offering much, just like in the previous fight. This is the way he started then. Well, maybe that's the... Say he's employing the same tactic as before, just soaking it up. Yeah. 
So not much action in this opening round. But uh, what action has been has mostly been in Thompson's favour. So the Germans a little quiet. It was a slow start from Roccagiani. But then it was two years ago. It was an extraordinary performance for me. It's almost like he ex expected what happened ha to happen. That the shoulder would go or something dramatic would happen. But uh, he wasn't providing it himself. And he's going to be uh, it's going to be dangerous for him if he does this and allows Thompson to get on top early on again. Well, I'd certainly give Thompson the first round. He, he edged it slightly. He did the the, the better work. And um, Roger Gianni didn't hardly um, hit Thompson with anything. So I'd, I'd give it a 10-9 round for Thompson definitely. So many opponents can vouch for his power. He's knocked out 16 of the, his 21 wins have come inside the distance. Nicky Piper can vouch for that. Tore him apart in Bethnal Green. But he hasn't come rushing in. No, he, Thompson's, he's nice and composed, which is good. But if it's going to be a slow start from Rottigiani, which it is, and if they're going to employ that tactic of, of coming late on, then and Thompson's got to capitalise and make the most of it and uh, get as far ahead as he can because we know that in Germany it's going to be hard to get a point decision. But maybe the mental game he's played has not been bright either because he's kept the crowd out of it. The crowd just uh, starting to get involved there. But mostly it's quite quiet here because it's been a quiet start from their fighter. So home advantage isn't what it might be. Well, that's right. This is a good start from Thompson. He's not giving the crowd too much to cheer about. And it's Thompson who's the one who's grown in confidence, which is good. Both fighters know they can hurt the other. Both went down in the previous fight. Well, that was a good right hand from Rocky Gianni, right hand over the top. But Thompson there catches him with a lovely screw shot. It was a right hand screw shot. That was, that was right on the target. Most of the stuff coming from Rocky Gianni is straight. All sorts of angles being employed by Carl Thompson. Good right hand again from Thompson. I like to see Carl using his jab and just getting out the way um, of a counter. He's staying there now and again and he, he's picking up a counter when he doesn't need to. He's quicker than this guy, he's quicker than, than him on his feet. There again, look, just a little shot that he, he doesn't need to take. Well, this has been a very good round. Good right there from Rocco Gianni, but again, Thompson has made most of the moves and it's looking good for him at the moment according to plan for Carl Thompson so far it's early days there's the brother alongside Graziano getting excited but there haven't been too many occasions where he has been able to get excited Tell me both these uh, fighters have a lot of respect for each other. They just touch gloves there at the start of the second round. There's not many real title fights that you see that. Good shot. It's the bad news for Rocco Gianni, as he may have hoped. We were wondering earlier on how much Thompson's lost in the intervening time. Well, from first sight, it doesn't look like he's lost too much. Well, no, on uh, the first couple of rounds. Thompson um, is performing well. He's coming down to Rocky Gianni's um, level a little bit with his feet. He's standing there with him. As I said, I'd just like to see him moving a bit, a bit better. He's a bit more elusive when he delivers that shot. But uh, it, it's good stuff up to now for Thompson.
Those are good shots. And uh, deathly silence at the moment here. And now they are beginning to realise that it's getting serious. That's right, the crowd can, have, can play such a big part in a fight. I remember the European title fight I had against an Italian, Silvio Branco, and the crowd really spurred me on. And, and listen to him here now, he, he landed a couple of shots, and they're all on the feet. And he can lift the fighter without a doubt. Carl's got to keep him quiet, box his own fight. That's a lovely shot, that was, a, that, was that screw shot again. Yes. Sort of a hook, uppercut from screw shot. Right on the chin. And just as in the first fight, it's Thompson landing more of the blows and moving forward. Again, not much work from Roccagiani. No, Thompson's certainly doing the front running. I just feel that maybe it's in Rocky Gianni's mind that um, it's going to plan for him because he knows it was going to be a strong start from Thompson. That was a good run over the top from Rocky Gianni. Yes, having said that Thompson dominated the first fight, and he did, there were signs towards the end that he was looking a little tired. And Rocky Gianni will remember that. Good shot from both men. A more even round. Well, at last, some uh, better work at the end of the third round from Ralph Roccagiani. But, uh, I've got him behind. Yeah, I know. Uh, most of the rounds have been close, but uh, Thompson's uh, certainly edged them. But, again, Simon really edged them over here. Yes. He is on our scorecard. There is that other factor you have to bear in mind. Gianni on home soil. Must have been eating into Thompson all the time he was out with the arm injury and then with the inactivity. How Rocca Gianni was going from strength to strength with six title defences. Yeah, so so close and so far away. Um, well, his trainer said, hasn't he, that uh, he struggled to get motivated for other fights, and that's why he's been lacklustre. And uh, he just wanted this fight. And this is good work from Thompson. Rocky Gianni is, you know, he's hardly through, thrown a punch this round. It's been all Thompson. Everyone who's close to boxing knows how good Thompson is and he deserves to make the big money which would come if he could win this yeah good combination again short uppercut and then right and over the top from Thompson again Rocky Gianni just soaking this up it's all very well the aggressive moves but where's the work rate Rocky John now he's back to us then, I, I didn't quite see what happened there. Slip. Yeah, just uh, threw himself off balance. But again, he's accepting this. And the this crowd beginning to will him on now again. Yeah, this is good work from Thompson though, he's getting motivated, he's getting up on his feet, he's boxing clever. Good shot, right up through the middle. And Thompson really hurting him now. Getting to him for the first time. This is excellent stuff from Carl Thompson. Thompson's not fooled. He knows he got through to him there. Good word from Thompson. He, he, he upped the gears there, went through the gears a little bit. And uh, Rocky Gianni did not respond to it. It's, a, it's another clear round for, um, for Carl Thompson.
into the last 10 seconds. And it's another round for the man from Salford. A big round two. They smile at each other. It's Thompson's round. Starting to look a little marked around the eyes is Rocky Gianni. Not so much the right but the left. And it's a testament to the work that's been put in by Thompson. There's the, uh, the camp. And uh, a little anxious they're getting. Yeah, that was Thompson's best round, without a doubt. And on, on my score card, I mean, I'll, I've only given Rocky uh, Gianni uh, one round even, and I haven't given him a round yet. And this is what Carl Thompson has got to just keep doing, keep plugging away, working the openings, working him over. And getting well ahead on points without burning out. No, if you're dead right, if it is to go to points, he needs to be well ahead. So there's no doubt. And give the judges no excuse to give it to Rakagiani. With this type of fight, you see Carl will go so ahead. Should, should go so far ahead but Rocky Gianni will obviously come strong towards the end and then that will even up the balance a little bit and so he's got to stay fresh he's got to stay fresh and uh, keep focused on the job so uh, confirmation that Already, Carl Thompson's opened up a three-point lead here. According to the man alongside me, Richie Woodall. And I don't think there's many who would argue with that. Thanks, Simon. I'll give you the, the tenor afterwards. Good work from Thompson. He's certainly rising to this fight. He knows he has the beating of this fella. Two good shots from there. Yeah. He took a couple of good shots himself there. Got to keep that left hand up now and again. That left hand is, is just um, he's coming down a little bit. And Rocky Gianni just caught him there over the top. It was exactly at this stage in the first fight where Rocky Gianni decked him. He came back off the floor with an almighty right hand to put Rocagiani down. There's a bit more coming back now from the German. Yeah. Put the good right hands over the top there. That left hand of Carl Thompson's is a, is a little bit low. And Rocky Gianni has noticed that and, and there's a couple of a good swinging right, right hooks coming over the top. Yeah, a bit more lateral movement there from Rocagiani, and it paid off. Good round. And a little less tension around the place now. A lot of frowns uh, amongst the German press sitting alongside us on the German TV from Premier. Instead, they love their boxing here in Germany and uh, they've even got the Naz fight next week live here in Germany. Boxing is becoming more and more high profile and the Roccagiani brothers have done a lot for that. But at the moment, it's not going his way. No, it isn't, but uh, I think that, that last round there were signs that he's coming back into it and uh, I'll have to say that uh, I thought he nicked that round. It was a 10-9 round for, for the Germans, I thought there. But um, it's as if... It's uh, the same, as you said before, it's the same type of pitcher uh, from the last fight. He, he's taking two or three rounds to warm up, uh, Rocky Gianni. But Thompson must get ahead as far as he can. So, into the sixth. Gianni fought for the world title back in 92 
lost to Tyrone Booz in uh, Berlin. And then came the fight three years later against Thompson. Again, I'd like to see Carl just be, be a bit more elusive after he's thrown his punches. He's standing there. He's there to beat himself. He's, he's scoring with a lot of jabs and a lot of right hands, but then he's staying there and he's taking the counters, which he doesn't need to take. He doesn't want to bring Rocky Gianni back into this fight in any way. But by standing there and taking a few shots, he, he, that's exactly what he's doing. It's a low blow. Not spotted from the German, but uh, no damage done. But he's beginning to set himself for punches now. Yeah, good right hand from Rocky Gianni. Followed up with a short left, he's missed the target. Both are really beginning to lay in now with much more meaningful punches. Certainly that right hand over the top from Rocky Gianni is his best punch. But it's only made good because Thompson's left hand now and again just, just strays a little low. Lovely uppercut. There's that right hand over the top. And again, there's the punch. That's the danger punch for Thompson. Still, it's Thompson coming forward. Maybe Thompson should vary his work a little bit and start moving to the right, moving away from that right hand. There it is again. Good jabs from Thompson. They're solid jabs. Yes, he's looking at the left eye, thought it might be cut. Thompson yeah. caught him there. He caught him with a lovely right uppercut. Looks like a mark under the eye, but nothing there. He's still wiping away as if he expects the blood to flow, but we can't see any. But there's certainly a lot of red coming his way from Thompson's gloves. So good finish from Thompson in that round. I know that uh, Barry McGuigan's watching in London. Barry, how do you make it so far? That's an amazing performance from the champion. I think Carl has done exactly the right thing. He stayed well out ahead. He's winning the rounds. He's not trying to knock the Rachi Gianni out. He's just punching and uh, keeping that work rate high. That's the way he's going to win this fight. If he keeps on doing that, what he's doing, I can't see him losing. Uh, Rachi Gianni must be... I, I can't understand it. Uh, he's been so lazy and laid back. The corner need to tell him to get on his bike and get out and start working because if he doesn't, uh, he'll get to the stage where he's lost so many rounds he can't hold it back. Thanks very much, Barry. He certainly is putting in a splendid performance so far. Let's hope he can keep it going. And uh, let's see if Rocco Gianni is going to up his work rate. Again, the two of gloves at the start of the round. A mutual respect for both these fighters. It's good to see. And the crowd are starting to uh, get behind their man now. And this is an important stage of the fight. Thompson must carry on with this dominating style, this dominating start. Keep on top. Nice <laughs> shot from Thompson. Short right hand over the top. Roger Gianni again getting home. I think certainly this round. Rocky John is um, torn him, and I must have said something to him. Come on, you've got to up the work rate. But Thompson there again, that's good stuff. 
delivering shots and not taking any, that's what it's all about. Jensen Thompson consistently getting home. That was nice work from Thompson. Left jab, right up a cut, and got out of the way. That's what he wants to do. Thompson remember, has never been 12 rounds. But I have to say, so far, well though Thompson's fought, it's not been a grueling fight. We haven't taken too much out of him. No, that's right, it's not been a grueling fight. He's uh, he certainly put the more work in. But um, I wouldn't say he's punching himself out of this fight. Only time will tell. But it's not a grueling pace. It's a nice pace for Carl Thompson. And he's ahead. And that's what we want. At this stage in the last fight, he'd been hit with much more hurtful punches, Thompson. He'd been down. They both took good shots there. Thompson landed with a lovely uppercut. And, and Rocky Gianni came back with a right hand over the top. The child has got to keep them hands up when he's delivered his own punch. Punches, his hands are strained low, and this is when Rocky Gianni's coming back into this fight, and this is what we don't want. That's a better shot, too. Thompson's OK. Sporadic burst from Rocky Gianni. But for me, he didn't win that round. Yeah, it was a good, good end to the round for Rocky Gianni, but... Uh, I certainly give that again to Thompson, 10-9 round. He'll come back again. Stepping close. Second you win the world title at the age of 33. Stepping close. Constant so state of frustration for is. Eddie Graham working at him. He thinks he's being on the other now. side. You know what I'm saying, Cal? Career started late and was held up for all sorts of reasons. Despite some brilliant performances, particularly the ones that uh, Richie was talking about, where he beat Massimiliano Giranda, win the European title in 94, and then beat very good Frenchman Akim Tafer in France. And once again, he's fighting very well away from home. In front. Five rounds to go. Good stuff. Two big rights from Carl Thompson. Good work from Thompson. That's what we want. Positive boxing. Lovely right uppercut there. And a right cross just, just to the rib. Just to the ribs. Very in his work. Body and head. This is good stuff from Thompson. Busy start from both men. There's that right-hander again from Rocky Gianni. Over the top, over that low left hand. Thompson must be careful. Big moment in the fight now, you feel. Rocky Gianni's trying to force the pace, but Thompson is picking him off. But for the first time, Rocky Gianni is not going backwards. Yeah, the Rocky Gianni camp, they must feel that this fight is slipping away. And, then, and, the, and the, they must have told him to to stand his ground and do more work. But fair play to Thompson. He's, uh, he's lifting the work rate as well. It's been a very big first minute of this round for Thompson because he came out with all guns blazing and Thompson's picked him off. Excellent effort. Both taking good shots there. Thompson responded to a big right hand that he, that he received. And again, this is good stuff from Carl Thompson. Sucking in air now. Roccagiani getting hammered. Big round for Thompson. Now he's done his work now. I'd just like to see him just ease off, move, move away, and then get back to it. But this is good stuff from, from Thompson. Don't bring him back into it. Shows what a game guy that Rocco Gianni is. He's been hit with all sorts of punches, and he does hit as Thompson. And look at Rocco Gianni still coming forward. 
Yeah, Sykes standing toe to toe on the cobblestones outside. Excellent round. Yeah, a good round, but I'd say definitely Thompson's round again. Up to this stage, anyway. It's been the heart of the fight so far. It's as if Carl Thompson has to, to really... Oh, that was a good shot from Rocky Gianni. We're saying it's as if Carl Thompson has to hit Rocky Gianni for him to respond to anything. But he certainly is coming back into it now. Good work, Carl. That's what we want. Oh, I Wonderful. Think a cut. I think there's a cut there. Wonderful round. All action from both men now. Is there a cut? Yes, on the left eye of Rocco Gianni. He's been feeling for that for the last couple of rounds. And as Richie was saying, terrific work. There's, there's the cut, and it doesn't look a good one either. It's under the aisle, just to the side below, but uh, that can't be doing him any good at all. No, that is... Um, that's in a bad position. Looks to be in a bad position, and... Uh, Carl Thompson will certainly gain confidence from that, and that's something to work to work to. There's no doubt it does give a target. Oh, with that down, you know, I mean, you, you, you see the blood, and uh, he's a, Carl's away from home, and uh, he, he's got to go. He's got to go. He put work on it, and who knows? It could be stopped. Into the last third of the fight, then is Thompson edging towards a world title now. This is where the fight will be won and lost, this last third of the fight. Hopefully Thompson can keep maintain this, this terrific pace he's set. This is where all the training, all those endless rounds in the gym will pay off now. Gianni's waiting to be hit to respond. See, that's when he wants to move back. He's delivered two good jabs there, but he stayed there. Rocky Gianni just caught him. Terrific right hand, two right hands from Thompson. Good stuff. Out again. That time from Rocky Gianni. He looked quite quicker there. Gianni just seems a little distracted by the injury to the eye. Keeps pouring at it with his left hand. Good change up from Thompson going to the body there, opening him up. Rocky Gianni definitely seems um, bothered by that, that injury. His eyes he's blinking, he's wiping away the blood. He doesn't like it. And Thompson in the meantime is piling on the pressure. Piling on the points, which is good stuff. Of course he can't relax, Thompson, for a moment. Not that he would, but he's... In the back of his mind, he must remember what happened two years ago when he was this in front and then as he is now. And it went tragically wrong at the end. Good shot from the German. But it didn't stop him at all. Tricky moments here. For Rocco Gianni. This is a good round, big round for Thompson. Piling on the pressure, doesn't want to get careless. Took a couple of shots himself earlier on. He just wants to keep the hands up and be cautious as he moves in, but a big round for Carl Thompson. Yes, keep the pressure on, but no risks. There's the shot. Rocky Gianni is a very durable man. So to put the pressure. He's the type of fighter he can bring one out the bag. But another very good round indeed for Carl Thompson. So, how much is left in his tank? Can he pull it round? Even here. 
even in Germany, surely he's a mile behind and going further behind. He needs a stoppage now, one would think, to win. If there's any justice in this game. Well, I've only been in the fifth round. I'll take the other round. I'll give a couple of even. And uh, the rest have been for Thompson for me. And, um, I mean, he's going so far ahead. He's, he's just he's got to maintain this pressure, maintain this pace. And um, there's only one winner. Thinking on points, he, he mustn't feel that he's that far in front. He's got to feel that he's got those rounds to win. Oh, of course, he's got to stay concentrated for, for the full 12 rounds. This fella can bring one out the bag. So uh, Thompson has got to be disciplined, very disciplined. There's Graziano getting excited, but he's had few occasions to get that upbeat about life. Three rounds left. Work here from Thompson, Rocky Gianni must know this fight is slipping away from him. But everything Rocky Gianni does, then Thompson seems to be responding to it and upping the work rate even more. They stem the tide as far as the uh, seeping of the blood's concerned, but they can't stem the tide coming his way. That brilliant work. Two left jabs, right hand, double jab, right hand. Excellent from Carl Thompson. So uh, just a bit of tape come loose from the uh, left glove. There is that fear, of course, that Carl can be can be so far ahead that. Um, he gets complacent, but he, he, he will have learned from the last fight, certainly. So confirmation that uh, Richie Woodall has Thompson in front. Five rounds now, or five points. And uh, the gap is widening all the time. And the three judges will have the final decision unless one of these two gets a stoppage. And Thompson certainly answered questions about whether he's up for this fight, whether he's done the right training, whether he's had the right amount of fights. His trainers always says that it was in his mind, Rocky Gianni, he Rocky Gianni again. That was the fight for him, he couldn't get motivated for anything else. And certainly tonight he's rose to the occasion. Take him on the glove. He seems to be running short of inspiration, Rokagiani. It's slowly but surely been whittled out of him, and there's not much left. Soon it's going to be desperation tactics. Yeah, earlier on in the fight, you were thinking it'll come in a minute, it'll come, but it's not coming. In. And Carl Thompson is putting in a terrific performance here. He's going further and further ahead. Another good round for Carl Thompson. Next tonight at Alexandra Palace in London, Spencer Oliver defending his European Super Bantamweight title against Vincenzo Belcastro. And Oliver says he's ready to go the full 12 rounds tonight if it's necessary. You know, I always plan on a 12 round fight anyway. And with Belcastro, you've got to expect that. but. If it comes early, it's going to be a bonus, but there's going to be plenty of fireworks going off tonight. That's Oliver next, but back in Hangover, in the case of Carl Thompson, we could be in for the story of the night for British boxing. <laughs> back to Richie Woodall and Simon Reid. Thanks, Paul. It's just six minutes of fighting left, and surely he's a mile ahead. Let's hope that there's no such dramas as we saw two years ago. 
and then uh, suddenly it was in this round. I hate to uh, draw your attention to it, but it was right here that the shoulder went. Well, I'm expecting Rocky Gianni to, to come out firing now because he knows surely that a stoppage or a knockout is the only possible way he can win. Surely the corner um, have told him that, but he still just keeps coming forward, plodding forward. And Thompson's doing all the all the um, all the work. I don't know if he's having a little trouble with his breathing, like a Gianni. Good work from Thompson. Thompson Keep really bossing him around now. Keeping on the end of a good long one-two. Well, now there's less and less coming back instead of more. Nothing coming back whatsoever. He's more on top at the moment than he was at any stage in the previous fight. And then is it a case of Rocky Gianni? He's 34, he's defended his title six times as he comes to the end of the road. It certainly looks like it for me. Better stuff, but that was a good shot. Just as you say, just as you say things like that, and then he gives it, delivers a couple of good punches. Well, the uh, Rocket Gianni brothers have really got to full public consciousness because of the sort of fiery attitude that they brought to boxing, particularly Graziano, but uh, he needs some fire now as well. Still, the jabs and the straight rights finding their mark time after time. I don't know whether it's uh, Rocky Gianni who's tiring or Carl Thompson who's picking the pace up again, he certainly is. Um, Thompson looks like he's picking up the pace, another good right hand. He's dictating, he's doing all the scoring. And now he just wants to be extra cautious and keep the hands up. He's three or four minutes away from becoming champion of the world. And how good will that sound to Carl Thompson, who's waited so long. Set himself well for the right hand, Rocket Gianni there, but Lovely Thompson's on to him quickly. Big right up, good that was. Last ten. Keep it tight, Carl. That's what you're going to do. Again, threatening moves from Rocagiani. The round goes to Thompson. And just a little cut on the forehead as well. He's really looking banged up. And cut on the top of the eye as well as underneath it. And, uh, it's the right crosses that have done that. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, in that round there, there was a, a couple of great right uppercuts from Thompson. And this round now, the final round, he's just got to keep it long, keep on them feet, keep them hands up. He's home and dry. That's what he's got to do, and he's champion of the world. Just watching Kim Weber's uh, marks coming up for premiere. He's uh, commentating for German television here, and he has Thompson four rounds in front. So there's the German view. Well, for Jim, you says he's four rounds in front, then. We have him seven rounds in front. It has to be a knockout, it seems, for Rocco Gianni to hold on to his title. Carl Thompson could be just three minutes away. Just keep it long, Carl. Just keep him jabbed, flicking out. Don't get involved with him when you've done it. There's bound to be a grandstand finish. And he's probably going to go right-hand happy, I would think, here, is Rocco Gianni. Well, this is where Thompson has got to be extra cautious and keeping that, especially keeping that left hand up. He doesn't want nothing spectacular. Just win the round just, again. Just win the round, do enough to win the round and, you, and, and you're the champ. That's all he's got to do. Not to get involved, keep it nice and long, long range. So he doesn't want to be there, doesn't want to be taking them punches. Don't give 
Rocky Gioni any chance whatsoever. I'm just looking at Rocky Gioni's corner and they're and the, a really egging him on, shouting, banging the canvas, come on. They know. All around the ringside, people pleading with Rocco Gianni to land the big right hand. But I think he's spent. Thompson has just been too good for him, too consistent, working too hard, and he's outclassed him. Definitely beaten to the punch. He's outworked him. It's been a great performance from Thompson. Who, let's face it, but there again, taking a punch, he's standing still, he's got to move. It's basically he hasn't had the best preparation in terms of fights. Now he's beginning to launch the heavy artillery, Rocco Gianni. His brother is standing up, screaming at him. Get out of there, Carl, you don't need to be there. Good shot from Thompson, the right flush on the chin. That was just what he needed at a crucial time. Stay away, stick him and move, Carl. Shot again, I'm sure in the last minute or so there's going to be some more right hands over the top come from Rocky Gianni. Has he drawn the last sting out of the German? He's played safe. Lovely uppercut. Lovely variation in the punches there from Thompson. But there's that right hand, he wants to... Greg doesn't need it, doesn't need to be there. Here it comes, but is it too late? It's all over, and surely Thompson has won the WBO Cruiserweight title. Certainly his corner thinks so. While you're watching these pictures, they're swarming all over Thompson. They believe he's won. We believe he's won. We'll have to wait and see. But surely Rocco Gianni didn't do enough there. That's it. That's it. No, my God, anyway, I mean, he, he rallied a little bit in the, in the last round there. And we give him the last round. I, I, I just give him the last round, literally, because he hasn't won one for about five or six rounds. But uh, I know you shouldn't do that, but uh, for me, there's only one winner. There can't be, possibly be uh, any other winner, winner tonight. Carl Thompson, champion of the world. Brilliant performance. What a story. A beacon for a lot of other guys out there who are struggling, reaching their 30s and nothing's happened for them. Here's a guy who even when he was 31 years old got his chance and then cruel luck intervened. Well, you know, it, it's a great, it, it really is a, a great, great effort from Carl Thompson because um, not many fighters come to Germany, British fighters, and get a, and get a point win. So this is how we score it. 118 to 112. We give him it by six rounds. Kim Weber. Kim Weber has him three rounds in front. We understand Frank Warren shouting at us. There is a split decision. We can't understand it. We think we're pretty sure that he's won, but it is a split decision, well. which is incomprehensible. But the good news that's according to Frank Warren, he just shouted down to us. But. We understand that Carl Thompson has won. We have to wait for the announcement. But isn't that great news? Some bizarre scoring. But it looks that Thompson, as if Thompson has done it. Brilliant. But I just can't believe it. Mean, Frank Warren just shouted down to me there. He says, you wouldn't believe it's a split decision. I mean, how can you give that a split decision? Just watching a bit of action here. And... Remember the judges come from Spain and two from the United States. Jose Luis Souza from Spain, James Condom, delightfully named, from the States, and uh, David Hess. But have we got another British world champion? And it would be true to Thompson's career that he'd done it away from home his three finest victories, apart from victory against Piper, that was a terrific victory back in 91 where he stopped Piper in three, but to, to win the U European title in Italy, then to defend up against Akim Tafer in a cauldron in Epinay in France.
and now to win here as long as we're right we get him abroad for him next up of course we'll be going uh, to the Ali Pali and uh, see Spencer Oliver and then later on tonight over to the States to watch Lennox Lewis but have we got a world champion here we think so Now then, don't know how your German is, but let's uh, trust to luck. Jose Luis Sosa, Spanien, 115 to 113, 115 to 113 for Rocky Gianni. Ah, the Spaniards giving it to Rocky Gianni. James, unbelievable. Well done, Mr. Sousa. James Condor. Aus den USA, 109 zu 119, 109 zu 119. Now, that's more like it, 119 to 109, 10 rounds. Und aus den USA, David Hess, 1-1. 111 zu 117, 111 zu 170. Und damit neuer Weltmeister, New WWE New Champion, it's Carl Thompson. Carl McKay! And credit to the Germans around here, most of them on their feet applauding him because they know they have seen a rich performance tonight by this man from Bolton who trains in Salford and now at the age of 33 has become the WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Tremendous. Tremendous stuff. I think the Spaniard must have been on the whiskey most of the night there, but uh, <laughs> the Spanish judge. But uh, yeah, great performance, a complete performance. And uh, what's made it more complete, he's had to come away from home to win it as well. Tremendous. Very, very pleased for him. So now the uh, future's opening up, and it means big cash is going to come Carl Thompson's way. Well, that's right. I mean, we all know now that uh, Carl. He should get the paydays he, he deserves and uh, and milk the title like Rocky Gianni did. Well, he's well connected, of course, with Frank Warren. He's got uh, the other opportunities, the WBC champion, Marcelo Dominguez of Argentina, the WBA, Nate Miller of the USA, and uh, Uriah Grant from Jamaica holds IBF crown. Well, Frank Warren is the man to deliver the opportunities um, for him, without a doubt, and I'm sure he will. So uh, our colleagues from uh, Premier having a word with Carl here. And now his lifestyle is going to be changed. This is the man who uh, just hates it. There was a story the other day I heard he went into his local news agent who recognised him. And uh, Carl stopped going to the news agent because he was uh, he just so afraid of being recognised. He's going to be recognised all over the country now. So Carl talking to our German colleagues, he'll be talking to us in just uh, a few moments' time, but uh, now it's back to the studio and Paul. That's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, here's the proudest man in the place, Carl Thompson. Well done. <laughs> Proud is not the word, you know what I mean? I waited a waited a long time for this. I waited two and a half years, you can say, for this. Uh, I feel good. It feels good being a world champion. It's good to get back in the plane and a winner. It's great. Tell me the truth, when, when, the, when it happened two years ago, the shoulder went, did you feel the fates were against you and perhaps it wasn't going to be for you? It felt that. Like, I mean, of course, you have negative uh, thoughts. So when, you fight, when a fight ends like that, how unlucky can you get? Because, uh, you know, I thought it was not going to be mine. But I knew I was going to come in. And determined enough determination, I had enough determination to get me through that fight because it was a very tough guy. <laughs> did you know how good you were going to be tonight because obviously people have seen what you've been like in the three fights since you haven't been quite the old Carl Thompson the old Carl Thompson showed up again tonight <laughs> funny enough Carl Thompson weren't even there when, that, that was nothing being negative on my behalf because he kept on waiting for me he's waiting for me to come in to throw the body points for him to counter uh, I jabbed and jabbed and I know that's Conman Billy and Enzo has been excellent been excellent mate tell him to stick what I'm doing 
and we get this fight. He's a, you know, he's a tough guy, and I stick, we stick to the job. That's what we stick, and we, and we won. You know, we're not, not in like the 11 round lapping last time. We're a winner now. You know, no arguments. People can criticise me or everything, but when I get in the ring, it's a different thing. You know, you've got to fight me, so it's no problem. Carl, no one's going to criticise you for what you, you did tonight. You knew, of course, he was going to have a grandstand finish at you. I know, we know that. And every time he hit me with a good punch and everything, I just come back straight at him. We, we saved enough. I didn't want to... I could have gone out and floored him with punches, but no, we knew how tough and we knew he was going to come out and he knew he was going to be waiting for me. So all we had to do was wait a little bit. OK, four hard punches and caught me, but at the same time, I come back at him and four hard punch. So, you know, no disrespect to, uh, to Ralph, but the, one of the judges it got it ridiculous. There's no way with two rounds it, it, it got close to me. I won them. I virtually won at least a good eight, eight rounds, you know, at least that. Carl, it's going to change your life. Oh, well, listen, that's another fight. <laughs> that's another fight. I'm prepared for this. Listen, I've got to, you know, before you end this, I've got to thank a lot of people. I thank you, Kate, for being with me and Lewis. I thank you, Frank, Carol, without you two, without, impossible, impossible. Ian, I forgot you as well. I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. My man, Billy Ensley, I'm glad I can do it for them as well. And I'm glad I can do it for Manchester and England. I'm, I'm a world champion, thank you. I know you think it's doesn't beat, but I really am happy. I was going to say, I was going to say enjoy it, but you're going to enjoy it, Carlin. You deserve to. Very well done. Hello to you all, Phoenix Camp. Nice one, guys. Okay. Yes, a nice.